So we head to overtime. And Fabik controls the tip. Both teams undefeated in overtime this year. Syracuse 3 and 0. And Connecticut's 1 and 0. They had that memorable overtime victory against Gonzaga. The middle of that zone has been very good for UConn. They have to keep attacking it. Well, here's your guy Robinson, too, on that offensive rebounding ability. In the middle game. Not enough dribble penetration into the gaps of the zone. They're just throwing it around on the perimeter. There it is. Price. Tough shot with Devendorf reaching in. And a foul. Four for Connecticut. So here's Robinson. Turn it has to brighten the spirits of Husky Nation. Jim Kellington saying it all year. We need Robinson at his best. What a gut check right now for Syracuse. Get punched in the stomach with that shot not counting and having to come out for overtime. Big possession. They go right at the big guy. He's got to control it. Nice help. On a walk through loss of oh. It's a beat. Stretching out the seven foot three frame. It hit the floor. Got the ball and the timeout. What a play by Hashim Thabit. Has responded with a double double and five blocks. A lot more shot changes. A pretty darn good performance by Hashim Thabit. And then gets 22 and 2 all time when he has a double double. So that's a good omen for the Huskies. Thabit back to back Big East Defensive Player of the Year. And six times in the last seven years, it's been a Connecticut player, the Big East Defensive Player of the Year. And they've been running some good stuff, and Robinson very good on the glass at the end of nice pass by Price. Penetrating. Beautiful by Price off to Thabit. And Syracuse looking for its first points of overtime. Trying to rally back after that major deflation when the would-be game-winning goal was wiped off. Flynn, tough shot, way off. Harris in the right place. Harris is bumped, and it counts. And Robinson has four fouls now, so a lot of the combatants in the game run away from extinction. Harris makes the free throw. Syracuse now 18 out of 26 from the line tonight. A good night from the line for the Orange. Nearly 70%. Price finds the seam again. Has it back from Walker with 15 to shoot. Adrian left alone from 18. Boy, that kid has just stepped up over his years. He didn't have that when he came in. Now he strokes it confidently. A much better attack of the zone defense in the last five minutes of regulation and in the overtime by Utah. Lynn guarded by Walker. Now Devendorf with Price on him. Plenty of spacing. Devendorf to the glass. Blocked by Adrian. Too deep. And nothing there. And not off any passes. Right. I mean, everybody was just waiting for Eric Devendorf on that penetration. Just took him one on five. Connecticut is a fraction of a second away from its fourth straight loss in Big East tournament play. Now they have the ball in a three-point lead with just more than two minutes left in overtime. Price oh, lost it. Flynn walks away. There was contact as Adrian tried to run back and no call as he got knocked down. I don't think he was going to catch Flynn, but he was knocked down. Even though certainly called for a foul. I mean, that was a silly play. They got away with it. And Stanley Robinson has been cramping up. A number of the players on both sides right now look winded. Of course, Syracuse played last night. Connecticut did not. That could be an advantage for the Huskies. Wow. Robinson! for 17 from three. And, and it looked like he was really shooting as an afterthought. Mm. And I was wondering, going, Stanley, I'm not sure. What great shot. <laughs> they doubled Flynn on the inbound. And Walker almost stole it. Harris alert to tip it back to Flynn. Finally, they get it to Johnny Flynn. 115 to go. Routon's a tough three. Didn't have much room either. Well for Routen. Timeout Connecticut. 104 left in overtime. Hey, what a game. Fun. Great. That's been sensational. Great theater. I don't think these teams subscribe to the theory. You shouldn't try too hard to win your conference tournament with the NCAA still to come. All out effort from two of the best teams in the country here tonight. Rebounding now. 
Down to 10 to shoot. But be hiding behind that zone. And they got to do something quickly. At the end of the clock, they get it to Price. He just hoisted one up, and Fabik couldn't rescue it. Time that if you don't make it, you can extend the game a little bit. Right, offensive rebound, or uh, quick time where they had Rouses could have got it in. Harris called timeout. They don't guard him. Devendorf comes to the ball with Austri defend. Yeah, Walker really doing a great job denying. There he goes. Yeah, Flynn had to make a nice little cutback move to the ball to get it, and Walker is a pesky defender. There's the double high. It's the same play they ran for Rounds earlier. Nice Rowden's screen. Got a good screen. He got short. a good look. A little short. Robinson the rebound. They're trying to follow him. They can't catch him. There and now go. Harris does. Um, he needs to get rid of it. You certainly don't want to turn it over, but you don't want to let them catch it. You want to play keep away. He's the weakest free throw shooter on the floor for Connecticut. Johnny Flynn to get the ball. They made one out of two, a two-point game. Two to tie, three for the lead, or perhaps the win for Syracuse. No timeouts left. Reminiscent of Marquette Villanova early today. Flynn heads for the bucket. Flynn with the beat on him. Off to Jackson! Still time for UConn. No timeouts. 4.7 to go. Got to come up and play him. Yeah, Syracuse lets them inbound the ball to Walker. With two, Walker contested and will head for double overtime. Oh. Does it get any better? Flynn with his penetration. You couldn't let him catch at the start. But he just attacks off the dribble, draws all defenders, and a nice little dump down.